Chuck Howley's long journey to Canton began with the Chicago Bears in 1958. Howley read that play perfectly. While his stint in the Windy City was fraught with a career-threatening knee injury, the relentless Howley could not be kept down and would revitalize his career with America's team. One of the great original Cowboys. Chuck was one of those players that always knew where the ball was going to go. And it's intercepted there by Chuck Howley. He returned that one 40 yards. Chuck, if it was a pass, he was there. If it was a run, he was there. But Chuck had that special talent. He saved a lot of touchdowns because he was so fast. His natural position was weak side linebacker because he could run with the wide receivers. This is Howley, the linebacker. Chuck didn't have bad games. Chuck overcame. He was an overcomer. And now he's going to be a Hall of Famer for the NFL, and I'm so proud of him. Over 15 seasons, Chuck earned six Pro Bowl selections and five first-team All-Pro nods. He helped lead the Cowboys' vaunted doomsday defense as Dallas reached back-to-back -back Super Bowls in 1970 and 1971. He is the only player ever in the Super Bowl to own a losing team to win MVP. And it's intercepted there by Chuck Howley. He was the outstanding person on the field. I think my favorite moment was Super Bowl VI when Chuck picked up a Zonka fumble. Zonka had not fumbled all year prior to Super Bowl VI. Chuck didn't brag on himself. He just got out there and did his job, and he made a lot of great plays for us. I just think of him as a fine man a great football player, and he was a hard worker, one of the hardest working people I ever have been around. We all loved him. We've been pulling for him for a long time. He'll be a great addition to the Hall of Fame. We were a band of brothers, and I'm so thrilled for him. I am honored and privileged to present my friend Chuck Howley for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. <laughs>